Hey guys, today I have a different sort of video. I'm going to be looking at Japanese snacks at Mitsua Marketplace. Mitsua is a Japanese market that has a variety of stores in California, as well as a few other states. There is Illinois, New Jersey, Texas, and Hawaii. Okay, so they have a bunch of fun food kits. There, there's a ton, oh my goodness, and they are so cute. I've been wanting to try these for quite some time. There's a variety of candy kits, and they have cute donuts. And I'm sure you can download the, the directions um, on a website in English or just translate it using Google Translate. They have pop and cooking. That is so cool. And these kits average about four to five dollars, which I think is is pretty pretty good price there. It's a cool ice cream one, soda candies. They have the toilet. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look at that guy! And you can put like little decals on him. They have a couple different toilets. The pudding, huh? So that's awesome. I've always liked watching Japanese snack videos. So now. I'm thinking I'm going to do a few, see if you guys like it. Um, it's just been something I've been wanting to do on this channel um, for quite some time. So yeah, I thought I'd give you a tour since um, a lot of these things are now available in the United States, which is awesome. Um, I think I want to do a Daiso video too because Daiso has a lot of snacks as well. And then here's some more candies. I absolutely love the packaging on all these items. That is another alluring thing about Japanese um, products. The packaging is awesome. So colorful. So a lot of these are little candy molds. That's awesome. Cute little cookies and biscuits so many yummy items. Now I've purchased some of these things before and I always have been, you know, satisfied with my purchases. Their stuff's really good. Oh, little Pokemon. They have Lunala and the starters. Wow. That's timely. Hello Kitty. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> it's neat to see the different licensed products as well. My Melody. That is adorable, as well as Pom Pom Purin, or Sanrio characters, how cute! Awesome, these make for cute little gift bag ideas too. And then into the candy section, these are kind of like the hard candies, they have fizzy candy, so many candies. Now these I haven't tried too much of. Ooh. This looks interesting, like an ice cream candy with some filling inside. Oh, that's awesome. So $3.19. So again, even for bags of candy, anything between about $2.99 to about $4 or $5. Um, so you can get kind of a, a nice variety. That's adorable. Oh, so cute. Pretty Cure, I believe. That's awesome. So a lot of uh, anime characters as well. Ooh, little fizzy soda things. <laughs> I'm terrible at describing these, but, you know, if, if we do a taste test, I'll, I'll try to be more descriptive. Tons of Haichu. I know Daiso has a bunch of Haichu as well. They have little kitty cats wearing fruit hats. <laughs> So awesome. And let me know if there's a certain candy or something you'd like to see me open. You can either pause the video or put the time description and I will try to, to find that. They do seem to have a, a very large, well-stocked variety. Super Cola. A lot of these I've actually seen in uh, the snack boxes that you can order. A lot of these do look familiar from other other channels I've watched. And then there's some savory treats. These pretz make an appearance a lot as well. Daiso has these too, and there's a ton of flavors. They remind me of like savory pocky. <laughs> so speaking of which, they have a ton of varieties of pocky. 
I mean, that's just a, a quick look through right there. A ton. Oh my goodness. And then other cute little chocolates and stuff. Like a little puppy candy bar. <laughs> I don't know. It's just really cute packaging. Awesome. What's, what's Choco Baby here? So they also have sales, like store special, 99 cents. You can't go wrong there. Ooh, some fancy looking candy. Lots of uh, green tea, which I'm not opposed to. I've tried it before. I just don't like the really super sweet, artificial tasting green tea. I almost like it more bitter. Um, let's see the panda snacks. This little variety box. It's sort of like a blind box of candy. You get a bunch in there. Awesome. More Pocky. That's that grape Pocky. Huh. <laughs> and then on this side, I've tried some of these before and they're super yummy. All their chocolate flake things are delicious. And then this is getting into like their toy candy aisle where I get some of my remints. Ooh, this is like a little ice cream store thing. That's cute. They also have more candy kits. They have about three different places of, of candy kits and stuff. Some Pokemon, Pretty Cure, Gudetama. So some of these have gum and stickers. I've opened um, a lot of those before. Oh, Sumiko Karashi. What are you? I love the little Tokage. So a little chewing gum. Those are really cute. And other little hard candies and stuff. Oh, the... The Ramune flavored gummy things. I think they have a fizz to them. Those look cool. Oh, and then here's the remints. Oh, Whistling Candy first. <laughs> I've seen Whistling Candy on so many channels, so wow, they have a ton of Whistling Candy. Pineapple, grape, and then remint. The Moomin ones are fairly new. These are awesome. They have Snoopy. Sometimes they have some really cool um, card packs. I got a Star Wars one a long time ago, and then I've never seen it since, but awesome. Little Pikachu gummies. <laughs> oh, Samiku Garashi remints. How cute is that? That's an awesome set. They're constantly um, changing and restocking their remints here, which is pretty cool. You come one week and they have totally different stuff next week. They have Fortress Maximus Transformer thing. That's cool. Oh, and they even have the Sunny Angels. Oh, Christmas ones. <laughs> That's awesome. So you never know what you, what you might find. There's a Kenya Kenya bookstore in here too, and I know they have a ton of Sunny Angel stuff, including the most recent like spring collection ones. But the market is separate from the, the bookstore. And then a couple more candies. This is a cute Hello Kitty tin. Little gumdrops. Ooh, that's gorgeous. So a lot of these you can keep and reuse for whatever purposes. I don't know. It's just cute. <laughs> oh, the burger. Every burger ones. Okay, I've been wanting to try these for quite some time. It's like a little biscuit in the burger patties chocolate. So that's fun. So cute and yummy looking. <laughs> And then this is sort of like the savory chip aisle, which you need some savory for your sweets. This looks like a fondue uh, type of thing. They have a lot of uh, puffs and various flavors that you don't um, find too often in the U.S., which I'm always willing to try. Oh, the Calbee brand. That's cool. The honey butter potato chips. That's cool. So definitely I would have some sweet and savory um, when I do my little taste testing videos huh is that like a cherry blossom flavor very cool okay so i am back home from mitsua and now i will do the haul portion of my snack video um i definitely bought several snacks enough to make a couple videos and i have been always fascinated with japanese toys and japanese snacks and i've been very fortunate to have mitsua marketplace near me as well as daiso stores and i know they are across the country as well so yeah, I think I'm going to do 
you know, a few snack videos coming up. I'll probably post them at night since they're so different from my toy channel. But I started with two of these little cooking kits. They're by Poppin Cookin'. And this one's a donut one, which that looks fun. I've never done any food stuff now that I, I realize it. And the directions are in English, so that's good. Although you can easily use Google Translate on these. And then I also got this little like ice cream set. Tanoshi cakes. So they're like little waffle cones and you use the cream and yet again decorate. So here's a look at that. Oh, look at the cool QR translator. That is awesome. So you can translate it into various languages. Yes. So really excited about those. Um, I've, I love watching like snack box, snack box videos or snack tasting videos. And I figured, why do a subscription box if I can kind of make my own little box? But pop and cooking would be something separate. And then um, I got several sweet snacks and savory snacks. Um, one I am absolutely excited to try, which is every burger. It looks like they're these little biscuits with chocolate made like a burger. Look how cute the packaging is. I think I bought a lot of these based on packaging. So I look forward to tasting this in a future video. And then I also picked up this bag of chocolate things. They looked yummy. I love chocolate. <laughs> so I'm excited to try that. And then another cute box purchase <laughs> is this. Although it looks really fun because they look like little pies. This is a chocolate one. I think I've seen someone's video on Apple. And they also, well, the person said they tasted really good. <laughs> so I just think they're adorable. Oh, look at You can heat them up too. And they got squirrels and cuteness on the box. So I'm really interested in those. And then I got a few savory items. I got this little um, pack of crackers, which I think are going to be pizza flavored. Um, this little bear appears on little cookies as well. So I, I got that because it's cute. And I figured I needed some savory things to go in my, my snack videos. And then I got this. Now this one looks a little risky. Um, I think these are like crispy seaweed flavored in garlic. Um, I'm not a huge fan of seaweed, but I definitely wanted some savory things, and it intrigues me. They look like little seaweed fry crispy things. So, nice to try something new. I mean, that's part of it, too. And then I got these little chips. Um, I think they're all the same flavor. They just came on, like, a pack of four. But I think they're a barbecue beef flavor. And I know I've had some before that were absolutely delicious. So I'm really curious to see what these guys taste like. Because um, some of the chips are super yummy. They have a unique flavor that you can't really find in sort of, you know, the traditional type of um, chips and stuff we have in the U.S. Then another savory is this. Which, I mean, it's a frog dressed as like a police officer, so that's why I got it. <laughs> and it's weird how I purchase things, but um, it looks cute and fun. And I think, well, they're corn snacks with, I think they're taro in there, maybe seaweed too. So curious about that. That looks good. And then we have some more savory or sweet treat stuff. This is cheese brulee. Those look fancy and yummy. <laughs> And then I did pick up this. This is one of the first things I saw. This is a sort of cookies and cream, uh, ice cream style dessert. So I'm assuming they're a little soft, munchy things with a creamy center. They look awesome. They also had a strawberry ice cream one. So, ah, got the cookies and cream for now. I hope I like them because that looks awesome. And then the very last snack I got is this caramel corn. Now, I believe it is dongle flavored. Um, at least that's what the little tag said and the little picture there. Because I know they make like the regular caramel corn. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. Oh, how cute is that? That little character bag. Um... They make a bunch of different seasonal flavors as well. So, yeah, we will we will see. I know I've tried the regular caramel ones, and they are delicious. So I'm really, really happy to find, hopefully, what will be a little dongle flavored one. <laughs> 
So there you have my very first little Japanese snack video. Let me know what snack you would be most interested in trying from this haul. And stay tuned for future videos where I do the taste testing. I'll probably break them down into several ones. I'll definitely do the pop and cook in separate. So there you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, friends. Bye-bye.